think it's good that while you're performing your prayer, you interrupt yourself at times and think about... Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my channel. So lately I've been very interested in Dr. Jeffrey Lang videos. I've already made two videos of him and I will put the links in the description box down below so if you are interested you can watch them as well. But in today's video he will be talking about prayer. So as we all know as Muslims prayer is so important. It's one of the most important thing as a Muslim so yeah I'm very excited to see what he will say X atheism I thought he was ex Christian I don't know Um, the next question uh, is regarding prayer. If you guys could keep the, the question topics according about prayer, that would be very helpful because we have so many questions. Um, the question says, how do you put all your concentration into your prayers? Well, you do the best you can. Uh, <laughs> you know, when I'm praying, and I think you probably found this useful as well, when you pray, it's very difficult, I mean, to have total concentration during your prayer. But I think it's good that while you're performing your prayer, you interrupt yourself at times and think about, genuinely think about, something that you're grateful to Allah for. Think about a deep concern you have for someone close to you, and you communicate that to Allah during your prayer. Think about something that you feel you may not have done quite right, the doubt you have about yourself. And ask God to forgive you for that and to help you with that. Most importantly, try to adopt an attitude of humility during your prayer. I think, this is just my personal advice, the more I find the more humble, sincerely humble, you are in your prayer. The more when you turn to prayer, you acknowledge and admit to Allah your dependence upon Him. The more you turn your heart totally over to Him and concentrate on that, the more you try to envision His greatness compared to your smallness, His kindness compared to your humanity, the more you concentrate on His beautiful attributes, most powerful names, I find the more beautiful is the experience of your prayer. So as you recite the Quran, interrupt yourself at stages. Just don't recite your prayer as a formula. Stop yourself at moments. And whenever you feel so during your prayer, stop yourself at a verse and communicate to Allah your deepest feelings about him. And be thankful for what he has given you. And Ask for his help, sincerely, from the depths of your heart. And tell him, although he already knows how much you need him, and you want to grow near to him. Because when you do that, you are opening your heart to his light. And like I said, those most beautiful moments almost never come as it, when anticipated. Sometimes they come and you're not even trying. When you're not, you're just standing there in your prayer and you're reciting al that and all of a sudden you'll feel this beauty take, take over you. But still, I think it's the attitude with which you approach that prayer. If you approach it just as a burden that you want to get out of the way, then it's probably going to be a burden that you just get out of the way. And you will receive a reward for it. Because it will develop your steadfastness, persistence, etc. But if you approach it as a humble servant of God Almighty, as one who depends on him totally, and has total trust in him, I think it will enhance the beauty of your prayer all the more, and God knows best. But I will say this, to all of us, we need to remember this, and we have to remind ourselves of this. Don't miss the prayers. 
Don't skip the prayers. Skip the prayers, you're taking a step backwards. Yeah. And then you have a difficult time getting back to where you were before. Pray day in, day out, as prescribed, and you will slowly but surely notice a progress in your spirituality. You will notice that the beauty of the prayers increases with that performance of prayer. You will notice that if you compare your experience of prayer to the way it was three years ago, there's something greater about it now than it was then. Provided that you're also trying to live the life of a Muslim, sincerely trying to be humble and compassionate to others, to be truthful, to be, to be fair to your neighbor, to be just, to be honest, etc., etc. But most of all, with all that, don't miss a prayer. Because you take a huge step backwards. And you got to start again. I'm not saying you go back to step one. I, frankly, I don't know. But you do go back. And you got to bring yourself forward again. At least as I, as I proceed. Yeah. Wow, I love this verse. Yeah, that was so beautifully said. I totally agree with him. I think that prayer, it does humble us as human beings. Because when you are praying, then we should always have this grateful feeling like we should always be grateful to Allah and always remind ourselves everything that he has given us and also we should feel so lucky when we are praying like we should just feel so lucky that Allah is giving us this moments he's calling us to prayer like that's so amazing that Allah cares about us so much that he wants us close to him. He wants us to pray every day, not just like, you know, once a month or once in a while. This is something we should do every day, five times a day. And we should be grateful to do that. We should be happy to do that. We should not feel like it's like a burden or something like that. I also want to say that prayer does really help it really does. I think some people who don't believe in God maybe think that you are just doing it for nothing. That's not true at all. Because prayer really helps you a lot. It does help you spiritually and emotionally and mentally, like in every way. Like meditation, but better <laughs> than meditation. In my experience, Prayer does help a lot. I felt the difference between not praying and praying. I feel the difference. And it's a good thing. I've also noticed when I'm praying, Allah does bless me more. I do notice it. And yeah, it just makes me very happy. Every time I notice something good happening in my life, the thing is, is, if you take only one step towards Allah, He will take 100 steps towards you. He will run towards you. And I've really experienced this. Like, I really believe this because I've really seen this happen in my life. All the efforts that I do like to get close to Allah, He has rewarded me basically <laughs> by doing that more than I could ever imagine. Obviously, like, not everything is perfect in my life or something, but I don't expect it either. And I do believe the better things are coming. I just want to, like, keep going and keep praying, I, because it's very important. And I believe that if I do that, then more blessings will come. And even if it's not in this life, then it's in the hereafter. Alhamdulillah. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Assalamualaikum.